welcome back to another Money Morning Routine. Today, I figured out how much I spent on vacation. So I'm gonna be showing you how I, how I spend money while I'm on vacation. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, but also how I organize and track it. So let's start with how I spend money on vacation. So I spend money on my Capital One Venture Rewards credit card. It's the only thing that I use for spending. I don't spend cash and I don't spend on my debit card while I am on vacation. There's a couple of different reasons. Number one, security. It's a lot more secure to be spending on a credit card than it is your debit card. And number two, I like to earn rewards while I'm out on vacation. I like, and then I also use my rewards from that credit card to pay for my, like the Airbnb and my flights. That's what paid for the flights and Airbnb for this trip to Arizona. Now I was gone from the 14th to, through the 21st for this vacation. Um, and so another reason I like to spend on my credit card is because it makes it really easy for me to break down my spending and figure out how much I spent on this trip. Why is it important for me to know that? Because this is a trip, it's a reoccurring vacation that we do every year. This is our fifth year doing it. So it's very handy for me to know and look back and say, okay, well, last year I spent this much. This is. I know now I can tweak and really make sure my budget is accurate going forward. I can compare my spending from last time and tweak and really create that accurate budget going into the future. It helps to compare. So I spent on my Capital One credit card. Now, everything, there are no pending transactions. That's number one. I wait until all the pending transactions are done. And then I print out all of the spending that I did from that trip and I categorize it. You can see I categorize it into one, two, three, four, five different um, categories, travel, transportation, food, activity, and purchase purchases. Now purchases for me means like um, any type of shopping that we do. Like I bought uh, some new socks while I was down there. I bought a new shirt and a new jacket. My, my husband bought some new socks. So that's what purchases is. It's like clothing shopping or souvenir shopping. Travel is being in the airport, food while we're in the airport, check bags, if there's any type of expenses inside the airport. Transportation has to do with how are we getting somewhere? So whether that's an Uber cost, whether that's um, a car rental cost, gas, that's transportation. Food, eating out, maybe we're buying food for the Airbnb. And then activities, do we do any fun activities? Do we do any putt-putt golf, top golf? Do we do like this time we did med medieval times, we did dinner and a show. Even though dinner is included in that, I still counted it as the fun activity. We only did really one fun activity this year. Usually we do a couple, but because we went all the way to the championship and won the championship, we were playing more baseball games, which gave us less time to go out and do things. So I got all of this, you can see highlighted. Now, if it's crossed out with a different, different amount, I paid for the total amount, but was reimbursed by other people. Sometimes what happened is we got one check just to make it easy. I paid for it. everyone else either Venmo me or reimbursed me. So I did have to move money from my Venmo back into my checking account so I could um, use it to make my payment back to Capital One. So everything is categories. So once everything is highlighted into colors, I then just add up the colors. If we go back here to the back of my month in October, you can see my notes section, my Arizona trip is right here. Now I had a $3,000 budget. I came in under budget. I spent 2401. Here's how it broke, it broke down. Now remember, I'm just literally adding up my different colors. So travel was 263, transportation was 445, food was 936, activities was 219, and purchases was 538 that equals 2401. That's how it broke down. Now, I like to see it broken down in these categories because like I said, once I look in making a budget again for next year, I can go back and say, okay, well, how much did I spend on food? Oh, 936. Okay, well, maybe I set my budget for $1,000 for this year. Oh, well, how much did I spend on activities? So having it broke down like this is really important. But here's how I actually track it on my expense trackers. So if we go back, at my expense trackers, you can see right here, everything is done on my checking account expense tracker. So I added 2401 from my vacation sinking fund. It's a savings inflow into my life. And that increased my checking account to $3,636. 3, 
Now, what I then did is I made a payment to my Capital One credit card to pay off that spending. It's Vacation Arizona. Vacation goes under my fun and entertainment category for 2401. It brought it back down to 1235 So I don't actually break down into the different categories like I have here on my expense tracker that I use to close out my budget. I put it literally under one line item that just says vacation spending. So I'm not, here's what I mean. I did a reel one time saying I use debt. I don't have debt. I'm using a credit card, but that doesn't mean I have to carry debt with me. I pay it off immediately once I can when I get home before any interest hits. This is how I use my credit card. This is why I have an, eight, an 800 plus credit score. I think mine's like 836. It's because I use debt. I don't have debt. I utilize the debt in my life in good ways, positive ways, and I've learned the healthy habits to do so responsibly. Okay, so the next thing, let's go ahead. I did have some food spending over here yesterday. I didn't think I was gonna go to the grocery store, but I did because Dante needed some strawberries, some fresh strawberries and more milk. So I went, here is my receipt, went to Yolks. But let's count how much I have left. 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. So I have $38 left. So 1022 Yolks and I spent $58, leaving me $38. Okay. So $38, but 10, 20, 30. So I do have a $5 bill. So I'm going to put that in my $5 challenge jar, write that down. 10, 23, $5 challenge minus five, leaving me $33. Okay. So put this in my $5 challenge jar. My food envelope has been updated. Let's go ahead and write that down. Okay, so that has been updated. So scan my receipt into Fetch Rewards, get that done. One more thing I wanna do um, for this is I have quite a bit of change in my wallet that I wanna take out. And my little jar is almost getting full. It's almost time to transfer into my actual bigger jar, but get I like to get the change out of my wallet when it gets too much. Just that way my, my wallet isn't as heavy and bulky. Okay, so cash envelope for food has been updated. I was able to write down my spending for vacation and get that all figured out and got my um, everything else highlighted and updated as well. And that is my Monday morning routine.